Mr. and Mrs. Lloyd, hi, how are you? See that you've got Sophie here. Um, just want to go through a couple of things with you, making sure that your client details that we have are correct, that you live at 12 Hague Ave. Is that correct? Okay, and your phone number and mobile number. If you want to just put that down on the sheet. And also you'll see on the sheet that we're asking for Sophie's date of birth, uh, where you purchased her from, um, if she's up to date on her vaccinations, um, whether she's been microchipped, and if you, you should have been told to bring the number with you. Oh great, you have. Okay, well what we're going to do is just put all that information into our system now, um, just so that we've got it for future reference and we'll be able to contact you when she's needing uh, her flea treatment or worming or her annual vaccinations. Um, with her stuffed animal that you've brought in, I'll just write her name on the tag here so that we uh, don't lose it and it comes straight back to you. Okay, that's great. Okay, now what we're gonna do is before we go through uh, to the clinical exam, where you will meet uh, Melissa, who is the vet on today, and she will be performing the surgery. I just want to run through a couple of things with you. In the clinical exam, uh, Melissa will be asking for, um, she'll be checking Sophie, her, her joints, just to make sure that, that she's uh, not getting any dysplasia, um, which is quite common with Labradors. Um, and um, just making sure that her teeth are in good condition, um, her skin and coat. Um, and if you have any questions that you can think of at that time, just feel free to ask Melissa. That's what she's wanting to get all the information from you. Now, what's gonna happen for the surgery is that once we take her through and she's weighed, um, we will be pre-medding her, um, which is just a relaxer. That should take about 45 minutes to kick in. Um, and then once the 45 minutes has occurred, she will be put under general anesthetic for the surgery. With the desexing, it should take about half an hour. Um, and then at that point, when we're recovering Sophie, Melissa will give you a call and just let you know how uh, the surgery went and if there were any complications at all, which I doubt at this point. Um, but as you know, you never know until you get into the surgery. While she is in her cage recovering, she will be constantly monitored. So don't worry about that. We have we will be making sure that she recovers fully and that there's no issues. Um, and during the day, um, she will be fed. More pain medication will be given to her. We'll be making sure that the wound stays clean and uh, we will make sure the bandage on it is nice and clean and dry before uh, she is discharged for you. Um, before she goes home, we do like to make sure that they have eaten um, and have toileted uh, just to make sure that they're, that they're recovering fully. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll just make a discharge appointment for you, probably about five o'clock if that's all right. Um, and at this point, um, we will give you the full notes on how to take care of, of Sophie after surgery. Um, but we can confirm all of the discharge times after surgery just in case there has been a complication. What will happen at the end of um, the day when we are discharging Sophie? Um, we will explain again that those she will need to come in in three days to make sure that there is no infection occurring, um, that her, that she is beginning to heal correctly and and healthy, um, 
and her stitches will need to be removed after that in 10 to 14 days. Um, while she is, um, while she still has her stitches, uh, she will need to be toileted on a lead just to make sure that there's no stretching or pulling. Um, we will give you an Elizabethan collar for her as well just, um, just to make sure that she doesn't pull or rip the stitches out. How she'll be after tonight is she may feel a little bit lethargic and be off her food a little bit, which is quite normal, uh, especially after general anesthetic. If you do have any concerns, please feel free to give us a call. We're here until 6.30 tonight, and then we're open again tomorrow at 9. Sorry, at 8.30. Um, we will be giving you in her discharge pack some medication which the vet will go through with you and how to, how to administer it. Um, and once again, we'll go through with you um, the toileting and um, how she will be feeling, um, any concerns that you have at that point. Um, but yeah, she will be need to be reassessed in the three days at the check just to make sure everything is healing okay. Um, we usually have, expect to have full payment uh, upon discharge um, and at that point uh, if you've got pet insurance please bring your uh, claim number in with you and we can do the paper, we can file the paperwork for you from here. Um, if you do have an issue with full payment then I will get my I can get my manager to give you a call and organize regular repayments for that. Do you have any questions? Great. Thank you.